Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a uh, viewer writing in, regular viewer writing in, uh, on the email. This is Mark, and he says, I'm a subscriber for your channel and managed to watch all the videos. I'm in a dilemma whether to buy a Sigma 17-50 F2.8 EX DC OSHSM, which, as you guys know, uh, even though it's a big mouthful for that lens nomenclature, it's one of my favorite lenses for crop sensor camera. He says, for my Nikon D5500, I already own the Nikon 50mm F1.8G and the Tamron 16-300 F3.5-6.3 to VC PZD macro lenses. What benefit does the Sigma 1750 gives apart from my Tamron as it's already 16mm wide? Should I get it? If yes, why? Or please let me know if you have any other suggestions. I take pictures like street portraits, landscape, but no videos, and just for fun, like posting it on Instagram. Hope you make a video on this. Thank you. Well, thank you for your question, Mark. Um, I would wholeheartedly say yes, I would get that, simply because your 16 to 300 is a very slow lens. It's, it's going to be a slower focusing lens, and it's also slow because it's a 3.5 to 6.3 variable aperture lens. The 17 to 50 is going to give you a much faster lens. It's a constant f2.8 aperture lens. So for your street, your portraits, um, you're going to be out and you'll have access to more light gathering ability. In other words, through that full range of 17 to 50, you'll be able to leave it at f2.8 in dim lighting situations. You'll get better quality images then because you can leave the ISO uh, lower in a given situation. And you know, if you're out doing street work, especially at night, or if you're doing portraits and you want to blur that background because you can shoot f2.8, you do have the 50 f1.8G, so that's probably what I would use for portraits. But if I was going to use that as a zoom uh, for that type of work, I would certainly use it over the 16 to 300. Not saying the 16 to 300 doesn't have its place. If I was on a trip and I wanted an all round zoom, I would probably use that Tamron. But in the situations you're talking about, streets and portraits, not sure about the landscapes, probably. Um, I'm not sure you may want that wider end on the Tamron. I'm also going to go out on a limb here and say, well, I'm not really going on a limb because I can tell you that the 17 to 50 is a very good performing lens all around. It's one of, it's a very solid performing lens in terms of optics and resolution and, uh, the, the pure image quality coming out of that lens. It's going to beat the Tamron 16 to 300 simply because it's going to beat any ultra zoom like that. When you make a lens like that Tamron 16 to 300 that goes over such a wide range, sacrifices have to be made. Um, not saying it's a bad lens, but that 17 to 50 is going to be sharper. It's going to have better image quality all around. It's just going to be a better lens. So you probably would prefer that for even your landscapes for that reason as well. It's going to actually focus faster too um, because it's got less glass to move. It's a smaller lens. It's not the same zoom range. And it's also be by nature the fact that it's an f2.8 constant aperture zoom it's going to get more light in, which allows the camera to see better and to focus better, uh, especially in dim lighting situations. So, yeah, I would go for it. Um, that's my reasons why. And um, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Would you go with the Sigma 17-50 f2.8 EXDC OS HSM? It's a big mouthful. Uh, do you already own it? I've owned a couple of these. I've owned them for Canon. I've owned them for Nikon. And I found them to be amazing performers. I actually prefer them to both the Canon and the Nikon versions. They're less expensive, and I just found them to be better. Uh, so I highly recommend them. It's one of my favorite lenses. It's, it's, it's my go-to lens for a standard f2.8 zoom for a crop sensor body, either on Nikon or Canon. So, uh, But let me know what you guys think. Do you, uh, would you go with that? Would you go with something else? What would you do and why? or what? Uh, do you already own this lens? What's your experiences with it? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Let's help out Mark. Let's help him uh, flush this out and make his decision based upon uh, your feedback as well. Thanks for your question, Mark. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.